What's going on, you guys? Kid Beyond a Camera here. But you asked here. Right there. And today is Tuesday. And today, I literally just woke up. So I'm probably covered in slimes. And Ew. Stuff that you guys are going to comment about. Oh, look at the slime on his tongue. Ew. That's gross. Did I fart and forget? Yeah, it was me. When some women are pregnant, they get morning sickness. When Pickle Boy wakes up, he has morning slime. Ew! Morning slickness. It's over. I'm done with you. I'm free! Today we're just sort of hanging out, winding down. It's been a crazy week. Dad's living in a tent. I'm in the process of getting it back into the house because I don't want him there. You know? I, Dad... I feel like we shared a good moment over that golden play button and he's still living. So dad, I'm going to get you back into this week. Hey. So. What if what if he watched the vlog? And that so he he knew we were going to do that. I don't have time for all this nonsense. Let's get this Tuesday started. I thought it was Wednesday. It's not. It's Tuesday. Wrestling was on last night. Jesus. Nikki Bella broke AJ Lee's what? record for longest reigning Divas Champion. See, this is what happens when you begin talking while I'm talking. You don't know where I'm going with this. So I say, Nikki Bella breaks the longest reigning Divas Championship, and Bridget says, it's hot. So, <laughs> Nikki Bella is the longest reigning Divas Champion now. And she's very hot. She's very hot. She's very, very hot. Nikki Bella, I'll do anything. Wait. Me too, though. <laughs> if you want me to kill him, I will. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, Grandpa doesn't have anything to eat right now because he's living in a tent. Um, I don't want to hear it, Bridget. I know how you feel. I don't want to hear it. I, I just think you're really gullible. We both saw him living in the tent. Yeah. What else do we need? I'm sure. Do we need to shove a tracking dart up his ass and follow him around and see him walking through the rooms like a Marauder's Map on Harry Potter? I think he likes to camp. Anyway, he doesn't have any food. I got him coming over right now. I had to call him an Uber because he doesn't have a freaking van because his van broke down. God, you're before. so gullible. I, I'm I, tired of this. I'm not saying I believe him about the van, but he doesn't Why don't you make this shit for me? Okay, how about this? Was the van there when we went there the other night? No, it's parked, obviously. But so, so either way, he doesn't have food. He has no way to get food. I made him chicken fettuccine. That's what this whole thing's been building up Michael, to. Michael, you know how I know for Can sure I just talk? he has a van? Why? Because he hasn't asked you for money to pay for the damages. It's interesting. Yeah. He doesn't hang out a total yet. Oh, yeah? Well, where is it then? Why isn't it in his yard? They haven't given him a total. Can I talk about the chicken fettuccine? You're really starting to piss me off with all this. You might be right. Go ahead. Okay. Talk about it. So I made Dad some dinner, and he's on his way over to get it. Look at that. All right. You see that big dent missing out of it? That was Bridget. That was Michael tasting it to make sure it was good. I'm blaming you for this. <laughs> we'll see. We'll just put some more cheese over it. <laughs> I should have filmed myself making it. I know, right? If you guys want to know how to make this, let me know in the comments. Is it good? It's very good. Should we give it to him? So right now, Paul Heyman is having a contest where you can win four tickets to WrestleMania. And as you guys know, I'm a huge Paul Heyman fan. But the idea is you have to go to GameStop and take a picture with a freaking yeah, you gotta go to take a picture with a briefcase, which is gonna be embarrassing. So, if you guys think I should go to GameStop uh, and take a selfie with this freaking briefcase, uh, let me know in the comments and on Twitter, and I'll do it tomorrow. Also, if you want to see the video yourself so you can enter, the link is below. So I wanted to take a couple of minutes in the vlog to talk about Nick Diaz. Uh, if you don't know who Nick Diaz is, he is a UFC fighter who was suspended yesterday uh, because of an incident that happened about a year ago. He tested positive for marijuana. And yesterday, the Nevada State Athletic Commission put down his uh, sentencing, whatever you want to put it. They He got suspended for five years and fined $165,000 
over testing positive for marijuana. You have people that get tested positive for steroids that get slaps on the wrist or, or nothing at all. And Nick Diaz smokes a little marijuana and he gets five years. They have ended his career with this. Saying that it's, it's criminal is, <laughs> is an understatement. Nick Diaz does not deserve five years. No matter how you feel about him personally, if you don't like him as a fighter, if you don't like him as a person, because granted, he has done stuff that will make people not like him as a person or a fighter. Not me. I love Nick Diaz. But five years over marijuana is complete. And, and Nevada? In Las Vegas? If people ain't smoking weed in Las Vegas where everything else is legal, what the hell is going on in this country? So you can go to Las Vegas and you can gamble your life away. You can go to the cat house and fuck some prostitutes, but don't you dare smoke any marijuana. It is completely ridiculous that marijuana, which is just a plant, I don't smoke marijuana personally, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with those that do. And to be suspended for five years, ending his UFC career over marijuana, is absolutely insane. Hashtag free Nick Diaz, because this is just, I really hope it all works out, ridiculous. What am I looking for? I want you to look at it. And then and, and tell me what you think. There's all kinds of videos on here. It's no wonder because you left me with no wood. And it was sticking to green last night. Dude. And I took care of it today. Well, do you... Okay. Look at the one. Who do you think you are doing this stuff? I won't be cold. You kicked me out. Nobody kicked you out. He kicked me out. No, he did not. So, if you spent a lot of money on that deck, and that was gonna burn, and it's the last. Oh, oh and tomorrow night I got to cut more because I got. Well, you might as well kill it. Who cares now? I don't. I'm staying warm. You're happy. Look at his face. He's I'm staying warm. <laughs> you know something? I made you all this so you can have something to eat tonight. Bridget, trash. He doesn't take this home now. Who do you think you are? I'm a man trying to stay warm in my yard. Then get in the... Then get in that... You're, look, at his, look at the face. He's so satisfied. I'm warm. This was such a good day. It was 50 degrees last night. I just finished. So go in. I just... I don't have a key. I literally got done talking good words about you. We are talking about the golden play button and the moment we shared with each other off camera. That was just a moment. And it's gone. It's fucking gone! We could have bought you another pool. We could have fixed it. We could have done something. Now it's over. Now it's ruined. I have to stay warm. Get out of my house. I'm out. Apparently. Grandpa's ungrateful. Surprise. Were you going to let me talk or is this the Bridget show? This ain't up being uploaded to Bridget West. It's being uploaded to Kate Behind the Camera. Now let me tell my story. Sorry. I'm pissed. Please. I just want right. to talk. All right. Without your commentary. It's hard. So. How Dad, can I be nice? I'm about to toss this drink to the floor. Please stop. I just want to talk to the camera, okay? Now then. So Dad apparently was cold last night. Mm -hmm. Don't do those noises. You're going to piss me off. Dad was cold last night. He was cold last night. I don't care if he is forcing himself in the tent or not. I don't think he is. He doesn't want to go in the house. He was cold. Michael, why wouldn't he want to go in the house? <laughs> I'll clean it. Please just let me get this through. He said he was cold. He tore the deck apart. Ripped the wood apart. And he's burning it so he can stay warm. How do you feel about that? I'm furious. With what? What? Dad? What do you mean with what? That was a lot of work. The pool was 7,000. Just admit he's ungrateful. Of course he's ungrateful! We don't have a mop. We don't have a mop. No. 
You're joking me! We don't have a mop. So do I lick it up? Do I just sit on the floor and scoop my ass across the, like Big Bella does? That... That's how I clean it. Yeah, do it. Oh, you liar! You do not! Don't use that one! Which one? I hear you laughing over there. <laughs> just, just kidding. That one's fine? Yes, it's fine! Please don't film this. I, I'm filming. You're like fucking Cinderella. Well, we shouldn't make mess. Ah! <laughs> it's fucking clean. I, I gotta get cleaner. You know what? Life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. You don't want your chicken fettuccine? I do. Well, now you can't say I don't make you chicken fettuccine because I... Ah! What? <laughs> you filthy... Hey, you stop! <laughs> oh my god, I'm really sorry. You need to just leave me alone, dude. I just had to get you back. You're making me mad. So, you made me toss my drink on the floor. You made me scrub it up like Cinderella. Don't use me as a scapegoat. And then you pretend I slam your fingers in the oven. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I can't take too much more. None no more today. Just stop. Okay. Move your hand from the oven because I know you're going to try something. Michael, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm have a... Well, that's going to be it for today, you guys. Um, if you want to see the video that Grandpa brought over, click the like button. I'll upload it on the main channel tomorrow. He <laughs> tore apart the deck. I'm grateful. If you want to see it, click the like button. Uh, hey, tomorrow, uh, if you guys want to see it, let me know in the comments. I'm going to go to GameStop, and I'm going to pose with that briefcase. <laughs> so, that won't be embarrassing, walking into GameStop vlogging with a selfie stick with a freaking money in the bank briefcase. But, <laughs> it's pretty cool. I want to win the tickets. I want to go to WrestleMania. Four tickets. I always buy tickets. For I want to go, if it's free. If I get four tickets, I'm going to take me, Jim... Grandpa and some homeless guy that I meet on the streets hey. of Texas. If you guys want to enter yourself, click the link below, go to the video, check it out. It's, it's actually a really cool concept. All you got to do is take a picture with a selfie stick. So I'll do that tomorrow. Hopefully my GameStop has the briefcase. That's the thing. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. I'm in a better mood now, Bridget. I'm sorry for, you know, being pissy. Yeah. And you won't take me to WrestleMania. I was joking, obviously. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Like. Subscribe. <laughs> Cute guy leaning against the wall, looking off into the distance. Here. I know, <laughs> I know your angle. Oh, it's up.